What up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your Rogue Reporter, LC the One, baby. LC the One, to be exact, that is, AKA, your Matic One, two, four. You're not the motherfucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up jersey is way on the back of my motherfucking chair at the crib. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC Gang Game, my LC Crew? Hey, what's going on out there, man? We all look really but hey, man, real quick and simple, man. Um, I just seen a. Uh, the video of uh, Dwayne Wade, you know, a Chicago native. I call him Boss Third, the franchise. I watch my 2K uh, streams on Twitch. Um, you can check out some of the highlights on my 2K21, 2K20, 2K19, 18 on YouTube playlists. And y'all see some of my phrases, like when I be on my team, and you know, uh, for, for Dwayne Wade, and, Derrick Rose, I call him Boss Franchise Number One, and I call um, uh, Dwayne Wade Boss Third, you know, franchise, and they were my franchise players always on my, my team. But anyway, I know y'all seen the uh, uh, video. Uh, if you haven't, go to ESPN and you can see uh, the whole entire video. Uh, Dwayne Wade was being questioned by one of the analysts, and he was just answering questions. Okay, but the main question that she asked him was about the the situation with James Rondo. I mean, um, not really talking Rondo, but with uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and them wanting Chris Paul to join the Los Angeles Lakers organization. Um, and... Um, Hey, he answered it. He was saying, hey, man, if you do this, man, this is going to make this one of the greatest basketball-minded teams that you ever seen. Because he was saying that these type of players are very smart. You know, their IQ level for basketball is very high. And, of course, we didn't see Chris Paul play with LeBron already in the Olympics. Okay, so they were successful. Uh, they got it done. They brought the gold home, the, the gold home to America, and yeah, man, I think um, Dwayne Wade is right, man. And uh, I think when it's all said and done, that LeBron, AD, Chris Paul, and Carmelo, they may all be on the same team again because, like I said, they once were all on the same team in the Olympics, okay? Uh, and they did win a chip. Kobe Bryant, rest in peace to Kobe. Still can't believe Kobe is not here, but, you know, they won the chip with him. And, uh, yeah, I think that would be a great addition to the to the Los Angeles Lakers. They're going to give LeBron a chance to move to his natural position, okay? His natural position, which is him being a small forward, okay? A young point forward, somewhat like Scottie Pippen was, his career, like we already did that video and we was talking about that on how Scottie Pippen, you know, and LeBron should be compared to each other and not so much to other players, uh, you know, uh, like Michael and Kobe. They should be compared, you know, to LeBron. LeBron should be compared to them because, like I said, man, it's, you know, you got to look at the positions, okay? Anything, if anything, Kobe should be compared to Michael Jordan and that's it. Okay, and, or Dwayne Wade, you know, we should go by positions, but that's how it is, you know. And uh, yeah, man, uh, I think uh, I think that would be a great addition to the Los Angeles Lakers organization, you know, to pick up somebody like Chris Paul because you know they do need a really good point guard. They got Ray John Rondo, but I would back him up. Behind Chris Paul, then you put LeBron at the, the three. You can work him at the four too as well. We got Dwight Howard there now, okay? So that works good for you, you know. And then you got Javel McGee, okay? So you got your bigs. So the main thing is just making sure you can put a nucleus around your center pieces, which is LeBron, Anthony Davis. You get to a good program like Chris Paul, solid uh, floor general, then you got Ray John Rondo right there. It takes a big, big 
burden off of LeBron to do so much. And that'll put him in the role of like a Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, okay? Even though they facilitators, he gonna still do what he do, but you still need to take that burden off his shoulders like that because he's not a point guard. And, you know, they shouldn't be putting all that weight on him like that. You know, they got by this year. Next year may not be so smooth and easy, okay? Because the guards are bigger, faster, and, you know, <laughs> You know, he older. LeBron is old, man. He's like 34, 35, 36. So, you know, he's past his prime now. So you don't want to injure the man, you know, chasing these small guards and all this and that. So you want to, you know, make sure you can put him in a situation where he's going to be, be successful. And that's basically that in a nutshell. So, yeah. So, uh, hold on. But okay, but I think I think LeBron still got a great shot, man. You know, winning about six rings, you know, especially if they make a great, great decision in picking up somebody like a Chris Paul, you know. So yeah, man, I'm thinking this this will be great. The way way he alluded to it, and he's making a valid point. You know, you put these guys together, you put. In, the best basketball minds currently right now in the state of basketball together again because they already was together once before so yeah i think that will work man and um uh, yeah i think chris paul take that into consideration i don't know the uh, the severity of his contract because i know he's is uh he's not gonna take the extension with okc because he already said his goodbyes to them already so i'm pretty sure He's going to try to go with the Lakers, and they're going to do something, man. They're going to move somebody around, and that's going to be that, man. But uh, I know that's going to happen, man. I know that's going to happen. Uh, Chris Paul will be a Laker next year. They're talking about the interview was saying, I don't know if it's going to be this year, maybe next year. But I don't think it's going to be immediately because the Brian time clock is ticking. You don't have that much time left. Just like I do. I don't have that much time left. So let me see what I get on my swatch. Yeah, so I'm going to go eat my sandwiches and stuff, man. But yeah, has a time in on that, man. And uh, yeah, make sure y'all uh, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell button on so y'all can get some more of this. I'm going to keep giving y'all the info. Okay, come on, the vlog on. You didn't want to talk man, but yeah, this is where we put the LC1 from the watch room. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell button on. So I get some more scoops like this. Man, go subscribe to my LC1 Stargazing video channel. I'm about to blast off with that man for real, for like a rocket ship. You did, but let's just screenshot it. Look, we had to church now. Yeah. 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 Hey, man. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with y'all, man. <sighs> Niggas out there, man. Yeah. They're saying I ain't the OG, the original. Yeah. Hey, man. Use a duplicate. Yeah. Use a duplicate. Use a duplicate, nigga. Yeah. Use a duplicate, nigga. Use a duplicate. Use a duplicate, nigga. And I'm the original motherfucking OG, nigga. Yeah. Don't forget to get your custom. T-shirts, you dig what I'm talking about from LC the one. You see the custom prints all over the shirt, you dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. The custom sweater, you dig what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh-huh. With the back end print on the same. I got the t-shirts as well. You did unisex, long sleeve. You dig now we got the full zip up. You dig what I'm talking about. Stood up with the hood on it. Stood up with the back print as well. You dig what I'm talking about. We ain't playing no game. And then I got the full zip up. Custom with the pockets on it and the stuff. You dig what I'm talking about. Back print and sleeve and print. You dig what I'm talking about. Print everywhere then i got the yoga pants you dig on top joggers you dig on talking about for me and i got the crop new t-shirts for the ladies you dig on time about look at that she look comfortable with it uh-huh then i got the sports bra you dig on talking about get the sports bra you dig on top of the back print print you dig on talking about the back print print you dig on talking about we ain't playing no game and then i got the yoga pants for the ladies you dig on talking about biker booty shorts you dig on talking about for that 
put that peach can round out. You think I'm talking about then I got the, the yoga leggings, you think I'm talking about flakes over she jogging and everything and I got the capris right there with the custom LC right between the thighs. You think and I got the, the custom socks, you think I'm talking about you ain't gonna find them on socks like that, nowhere on the planet. And then last but not least, I got the LC the one jersey, you think I'm talking about. Then I got the back print on there. Look at that back print look good. Then I got the Illmatic one, my street ball jersey with the two fold on it. And then I got the little sleeve pull up bag right there for the ladies. You think I'm draw straight back. And then I got the real backpack. You know what I'm talking about? LC the one. Look at the back. Look at the front. You think I'm look at the top. You think I'm talking about everything is looking good. You think I'm talking about and then I see the worst neighborhood. And then I got the X Star iPhone 10 case. You think I'm talking about. And then I got the iPhone 6 case. 7, 8, 9. Let's order what you want. And then I got the custom print. You think I'm talking about LC the one, baby. And then I got the custom mug. And when you want to get drunk and drink and stuff to my stream. And then I got the snuggle pillow. When you want to get snuggled with your lady. Yeah.